Art is everywhere. Nowadays, anything can be interpreted as artwork. Even graffiti, which, in the past, was seen as vandalism. But, when you walk past those incredible murals in Manchester, do you really notice it? Do you think about the artist? In a small corner of East Manchester, Gorton Visual Arts have been creating art in and around Manchester since 2006. They meet once a week at Collier House and the group consists of 18 local residents. The main aim of this class is to develop new creative and artistic skills for those with learning difficulties and the elderly, who can then share their experience with the community and inspire others. Um, well, I've done a lot of previous work in, in Salford um, and got a monastery, asked me to come over and work over this side with the local people and I, um, I grew up in Bessick and went to school in Gorton as a kid, so this was my kind of my community, I, I guess. Um, so I, um, yeah, I started it then. It's um, very fun, hopefully very enjoyable for people. Um, but uh, I've got to be perfectly honest. I do pressurise people because I think pressure is helpful, um, not too much. Quite a relaxing atmosphere, really, and. Um, it's quite happy, it's quite, uh, everyone I, I really get on with everyone and there's none of this, oh my work's better than that, there's none of that and I like that because there's no competition. We all, and when Ian gives us work to do and it's surprising how much everyone has done different but it's the same project. The group have worked on a variety of projects which can be seen around Gorton and Manchester, such as the Bellevue Mosaic at Gorton Market, Manchester's Library Theatre and more recently on the Wit Walks project with Manchester's Museum of Science and Industry. Well, over the years, I've been in it for many years really, I've done uh, mosaics, we've done banners, um, We've done screen printing, we've done painting, drawing, painting with different materials like uh, acrylics, oil painting and odd time. Not only that, but in 2016, Gorton Visual Arts worked on something called the Kite Project. The group is uh, mainly old people and we wanted to uh, work about, do a project about people's kind of childhood memories and what better to put the memories on a kite and then take the people to the seaside and get them flying a the kite as if they were that young person again and it worked that it's fabulous. We went to St Anne's and Lytham so that was very interesting. It took me back to my childhood. We're basically saying to older people you don't have to be a young person to come and fly a kite. I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic and the majority of the world going into lockdown throughout 2020 and 2021, Gorton Visual Arts had to close down for a short period of time. This had a huge impact on those who attend, but the challenges of lockdown were overcame in many ways. Well, the, um, obviously the pandemic um, hit us, it's everybody had, um, particularly um, got a visual arts group people because I know a lot of people live alone and um, a lot of people in our group have learning difficulties. Uh, luckily we had lovely weather for several weeks at the beginning and I'd found it hard as in not being able to go out and then Ian started to send us work out to do if we wanted and we had a choice didn't have to but uh, that was good because again it was things to do of an afternoon, not every day, but some. I, if I'm honest, it just made me appreciate just going shopping, just to go to the shops when it was all over, where we could go out a bit more. It just makes me appreciate life more. After kind of two weeks of um, being home, I thought, well, we 
go, go help people, you know, go help people. So initially we, we tried to get some funding to buy materials to send out through the post and everything we'd done through the post. Uh, from my garden shed. It was all done from a garden shed, me and my son Andrew. So then we started to develop activities that people could do at home. The artwork, which was created during lockdown, can now be seen on display at Garton Library. The class has been an inspiration to many people in the community and around Manchester, including Sophia Ledwood, who used to attend with her grandma when she was younger. Uh, what I love about art, it's, um, it's like, there's not really, well, for me anyway, there's not a lot of pressure for it to be anything, like, good. Like, with English or math, there's always a right answer, but with art, there's nothing right about it, it's just what you do, and but obviously people say, oh, my art's rubbish, but in my opinion, I feel like there's not really such thing as, like, rubbish, because there's always room to grow and stuff. I love um, painting as my, probably, probably my main, like, use, but uh, recently I've, I've probably been doing a bit more with, like, pencils, probably because they're easier to use than paint, but um, I've got to give it the acrylic paint and the credit it deserves, I've been using that mostly my entire life. When I was younger, my grandma um, would take me and my sister to go on visual arts um, when we were on, like, the off school. So this is something I did there, which is a screen print of Bellevue elephant thing. But um, this were, this is just an example of the different type of stuff they do because obviously it's not just paint and pencil, it's like screen printing which is like which is when they roll the paint on. I think three words for quite visual arts. I'd say welcoming is one of them because I just feel like when whenever I went at least there was always like someone there being like oh hi I love you know <laughs> whatever um, probably encouraging as well because every time we would sit down and start something you'd probably be interested in what you're doing the uh, man who runs it Ian he would always um, like ask what we're doing or ask if we wanted to experiment with more and probably um, just cheerful. Everyone seems really nice, you know, they're just like really kind people. Welcoming, happy atmosphere where you can make new, lots of new friends and everyone are friendly. When I was at Gotten Visual Arts, like those few times, seeing all the artwork on the walls and the advice from the people, it was like, it kind of opened my eyes and inspired me to like proper pursue it. And I think ever since I was younger, that's probably why I've liked art so much. From what we've seen, Garton Visual Arts is inspiring and influential. And people may not even realise it as they walk past the mosaics in the indoor market or Garton Library. It creates a good routine for the retired and those with learning difficulties. It is a way for people to express and individualise themselves whilst being creative. It's good for me mentally and it's good for me to mix with different people as well. If you have any inquiries or want to find out more about Garton Visual Arts, you can contact them on Facebook and see more of the work posted frequently through there.